So we've got a hundred gallons of water behind us, over a hundred pounds of dry ice beside us, and we're gonna see what happens when we stick them together. Hi, I'm Bryce. And I'm Jeremy. And I'm Alex. And you're watching The Renaissance Builder. I see you. Don't you go anywhere. The best is yet to come. All right, everybody. It's time for the real world test. Uh, you know, just like we did with the uh, the chiller style ice chest air conditioner, we're gonna do with this here dry ice style ice chest air conditioner. Now, first of all, I'd like to mention a couple things that are different this time. For one, you see that hose, this hose right here that's going out the window? That's a vent. So in this, in this situation, the primary difference is, I'm sorry, I got something in my eye. Uh, the primary difference is that there's a heat exchanger. So the, CO, the dry ice CO2 is located in one compartment that is separate from the actual airflow. So, and then we vent the dry ice compartment. That way, and we actually use positive pressure from the airflow in order to push to make sure that the CO2, any CO2 produced gets vented right out the window. So we have to interrupt our regularly scheduled program because this thing epically failed. Yes, I have to admit it, it failed. I have footage of almost suffocating. I say almost, it wasn't that bad, but like I had to open the door because it, so it turns out when, when you've got a cabin full of CO2 formed by dry ice, it's kind of fizzy. It's almost like actually breathing a soda, sort of. It's weird, but don't do it. Um, because of that, I, I can't. Don't, don't, don't do this. Just don't do it. So, 
uh, back to the drawing board. We're going to add some gaskets. We're going to reseal it. I'm not going to change it all that much. So, you know, I'll keep the footage, the B-roll footage in here of making it. But, yeah, this thing failed. Don't use it. At least not until, you know, I'm not going to say use it until I can confidently, like, test it out in my own vehicle on myself. And then, then I'll be like, yeah, you know, it works. So, till then, don't do this. <laughs> what do they say? We're... We're professionals, don't try this at home. Except I'm not a professional. But don't try this at home. All right, so anyhow, yeah, that was not a success, but we still have some great footage of having some fun with this stuff, so here's the fun. It's time to celebrate, so let's see what happens. Ready? All right, go. underwater. What do you think? Is it a little cold? There's still a lot in there. I touched it. You touched it? So I've got a no. <laughs> End scene. Okay. I thought it was two hundred gallons. <sighs>